2013 was a big year for us. Um, in terms of total construction, this is the biggest year the RDA has had. And we've had close to 500 jobs created in conjunction with the state here locally um, through some uh, manufacturing companies primarily, a handful of those that have chosen to come in, relocate to northwest Indiana. The shoreline has been a big focus for us for a long time. It's that asset that you can't replicate. Um, you know, I like to think in terms of there's like a canal or river walk in San Antonio, Indianapolis, places like that, but there's just rarely anything, you know, on the planet that can be replicated that looks like the fresh waters of Lake Michigan. Uh, Portage, uh, the lakefront park that I know you guys have talked about before is now I think the busiest uh, federal park in the Midwest, um, which is a tremendous thing, a former steel site, you know, that now is up by the Bass Pro Shop and really is a, a signature piece for not only Portage but Northwest Indiana. Um, you've got uh, projects like that in uh, the Marquette Park in Gary, which in 2013 made tremendous progress. Uh, represents the restarting of the Miller neighborhood as an economic engine for Gary again. And one of those areas where we're tying a lakeshore into train transportation, eventually where you're going to see um, some transportation-oriented development is the buzz phrase, but it's really you know, commercial around train stops in the Lake Street corridor, uh, where business has been good. Hammond, uh, the Wolf Lake Park has been around for a little while, nearing uh, almost total completion, and that continues to be a great signature piece for the state as you come in on the toll road. Uh, we're doing some work in East Chicago along the shoreline right now, and I, I think one of the neatest projects that we've been involved in, which really um, I can't tell people enough to go see, um, is the uh, Whiting uh, development with you know, partnerships with BP, the state of Indiana. Uh, Mayor Joe uh, has done a tremendous job up there of really visioning and saying, okay, I have this great little downtown, but we need a shot in the arm. You know, the markets are changing and so forth, so we're going to do the full package. We're going to figure out how to get restaurants in. We're going to make it a beachfront community. And so we were able to go in with their shoreline project and really clean up the shoreline, um, help provide some new facilities, and it really shows um, an example of where investments like that are not about building parks, they're about economic development. The Gary uh, Chicago International Airport, if you were to go there today, uh, drive past it today, you're going to see uh, um, skilled tradesmen out there um, laying new uh, lines for the relocation of the CN tracks that were an obstacle uh, to expanding the runway. And since the RDA got involved a few years back and with um, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, we were able to close negotiations there and actually relocate uh, the CN line. So another big thing that happened that, you know, we all worked with the city and the legislature in partnership on, and that, um, there was a bill called 585 that came out of the Senate that um, had uh, in it many pieces for the benefit of the city of Gary, um, but also one of those pieces uh, was the re-establishment um, of a new structure for the Gary Airport Board of Directors. And the uh, former board had done a lot of work over time, had really helped push the project forward. Um, the thought was, you know, as we go forward into the business development, you know, to try to get the um, aviation assets to match up with the construction advancement and all that, we're going to need a different um, skill set to come in. And so um, what's happened since that time is the board's been repopulated by the mayor. Uh, she has four appointments. Uh, each county, Porter and Lake, have one apiece. And then the governor has now the appointment of the chairperson. And so business people have been uh, put on the board. It's a great looking board in terms of qualifications and so forth. And uh, Tom Collins, the CEO of Luke Oil, uh, has stepped up to be, you know, the uh, chairman of the airport board. And that's very significant to have a C-level uh, person that runs a billion dollar uh, corporation to say, you know, I'd like to lend my skills to this and see what we can do. So, you know, having him step up as the governor's appointment and come in there I think really sends a message to the public and the business community too that you know it's a different day uh, we're trying to seek out the best talent and the minds we can to put on the task of making this work because at the end of the day uh, it's about the citizens that live here and the job opportunities that will come out of this. The RDA is in a place right now where we're really looking forward to almost a phase two um, you know, we've had a lot of success around the shoreline and different things, and it will continue to grow out from itself. Um, we started really kind of looking at what is it that we need to do to bring the middle class back, to stabilize the middle class in Lake County, to uh, attract our own children to come back, 
you know, the middle class is declining all over the place. We're all a part of the middle class. And the state of Indiana is a middle class state. You don't have massive uh, uber wealth here and, and big money people. We're working class people. And whether we're doctors or lawyers or we work at a mill, you know, one of our best assets is work ethic. Um, what we've been looking at is, well, how do we do that? We can continue to drag companies over here, and we do that. Uh, but that's a lot harder than maybe tapping into, say, a market that has a million more jobs than the state of Indiana in total, uh, and that's the Chicago marketplace. There's a million more jobs in Chicago than there is in the state of Indiana, and we're sitting next door to it. And we looked at, well, the north and west suburbs, you know, they have 15 rail lines. We have one, and that one could use some work as well. So um, what we're aggressively pursuing is the um, expansion of the South Shore train line into the Dyer area as a phase one. We're not trying to do the whole uh, project, which was originally established as a line to Valpo and Lowell. We're, we're saying, well, how can we take a bite out of the elephant here and get to where the population center is now? We can help with congestion, but we can also run bus systems in and out of there, shuttle systems, things like the Chicago Dash, and really put a stake in the ground in saying, this market is open. Um, and so what's happened historically in Chicago too, along with just having access to jobs downtown, if you get a workforce established, you know, eventually the companies look and they say, well, you know, Porter County is a pretty nice place, or Lake County, I can get my uh, property much cheaper, and the workforce is there. And so if you look at places like Naperville and Barrington and other places, corporate headquarters have actually moved out, you know, 20, 25 years after the train line was set because their workers now live there. And instead of having a loop address, it's, you know, it's fine to be out there and it's a lot cheaper. So we're not even in that game right now. We're not even in the thought processes of, you know, of companies like that because we don't have the workforce established here. And so um, we're not done fighting you know, the good fight. We're gonna continue to push on this. We believe that's the way um, that we're gonna pave uh, you know, openings uh, to the, that market in the future um, for citizens of Indiana, Northwest Indiana, our kids, and so on. Uh, you're going to positively find there's some really great people there. Um, you know, I was pleasantly surprised in many cases about uh, some of the public servants and different things that you run into, people that you end up respecting that are really just trying hard, you know. Uh, people that live in those communities over there, they want the same thing that, that everybody wants in Porter County. I've met some great people, great families in Gary, Hammond, East Chicago, Whiting. It's been a pleasure to um, really get in there and see, you know, a lot of our heritage in Porter County is based off of that, uh, of, of those communities in Lake County. And there's not, there's not a whole lot of dissimilarities there. I mean, you still have the same work ethic, the same, it's a Midwest mentality, it's a, um, it's a tough, tough crowd in a good way in terms of, you know, they, they don't get beaten down easily. You know, we've had our ups and downs and hardships and we've been industrialized and we've been consolidated uh, in industry and we've lost jobs and we've gained jobs and we've, uh, you know, and we've been in the shadow of Chicago. And so um, these new initiatives I think are so important because I really do believe that um, the resource we have here is, is completely and ultra valuable in terms of the people. It's just we have to give them, a, we have to open the front door for them, that's all. You know, let's let them do what they can do. And so I think that's the, the real upside to it.